is, is something that you can often modify by changing your form. But when you're doing something like running or something that happens quickly, it gets harder and harder to coordinate all the things that you're thinking in your brain with how fast everything is happening. So a lot of people run more upright and it puts more force down on the pelvic floor and it makes it harder for your for the big muscles of your glutes to really be contributing and doing a lot of the work. But when you run uphill, it kind of forces you to lean into the hill, which gives you a better connection between your rib cage and your pelvis. It gets your glutes doing more work. It shortens your stride length, and it takes a lot of the pressure off of your pelvic floor without having to think about, all right, now I got to do this, and now I got to do this, and now I got to do this. The hill kind of makes it happen for you. So if you can practice running on a hill, then you can think about got cut off a little bit there. So if you can practice running on a hill, think about what it feels like, which muscles are doing the work, um, how is it different for you, what muscles are you, or what are you changing when you go from running on level ground to running up a hill, and if you practice it enough times to make those connections in your brain, then can you go back to running on level ground and still find those same connections? Can you still use the muscles that help you run uphill when you run on level ground?